What's up? What's up, guys? Uh, back to this. Even though I played it a day, played it a day ago, and my OBS pretty much just decided to go ahead and record it on the shittest settings ever. Um, yeah. Uh, you can tell I'm a bit. Pe oh, sh I just realized I'm playing with a controller. I shouldn't be doing this. I'm not a plebeian. There we go. There we go. Right. Now where were we from the previous from the previous episode that no one's ever going to see? Connect Prince's Palace. And there's an item right there. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Me following orders. Like... Yeah, we hear you. Oh, my God. Oh, God. What the fuck? You know what? Threatening him may not help. Because it is his master. It is his master that's pretty much just screwing everything up. I don't think you understand who you were dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Lady de Sardé, niece of the Prince d'Orsay, and legate of the Congregation of Merchants. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable, especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion and theft. You know as well as I that the Congregation God. does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That's a shame. Well... As orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise without delay. Unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Your request, my lady. I shall go immediately and ask that these crates be delivered to the attendant. Now that's a wise decision. <laughs> that fucking worked! Ah. I can understand he was following orders. I mean, I would too if I were in that position. But bloody hell! This woman doesn't pull her fucking punches! And I love that! Okay. Sup, losers. Who is there? May the illuminated save us. Did the smuggler send you? The man to which you are referring was arrested and thrown into prison. But reveal to me your hiding place. Oh, the traitor! Have you come to deliver us to the Inquisition, then? Please, please, have pity on our souls. We have committed no crime. We are not heretics. We are nothing more than historians. In that case, why is the Ambassador of Teleme so concerned about your teachings? Why is the Inquisition looking for you, and why are you hiding? Our only error was wanting to publish our work. It's true. We presented our research, but it didn't please the censor. And here you have the result. We fled all the way to Serene, thinking we would be safe. But the Inquisition wants to silence us so badly that they followed us here. Ah! Uh, oh my god, I am deciding the fate of historians. I can't, I can't, I can't let them come to, I can't let them come to harm. I, I can't. If we just place everything on blind faith, so much of history is lost. Imagine just like in like a god-fearing nation. What the fuck we would think if we found the fucking tyrannosaur skeleton? Would be yeah. better than being burned at the stake. Did you try yeah. speaking with the senses? You could forget what you have discovered, perhaps. What? We have signed already an abjuration stating that we misunderstood the sacred texts of St. Lucius. We were even ready to say that we had never seen the true text, or anything else that would have pleased them. It served no purpose. It's our lives thereafter. I see. Well, 
You have no other choice but to run and seek refuge in enemy territories. I beg of you, please do not deliver us to them. Let us continue on this path. Uh, okay. I'm honestly at the fucking... Oh, the, cro the fucking crossroad. If they go with the arrest, it pretty much means their lives. If I propose them to speak with the Bridge Alliance Ambassador, it's still their lives. I have to let them go on their way. Sure, they may be taken in as spies. They may be fucking screwed by that, by that case. But anything, anything is truly better than being put to the stake. Yeah, I have to let them go. I have to let them go. Because if they... They'll suffer if they fucking... If I fucking get them to either speak to them, or if I proceed with the arrest. I don't have the heart to deliver you to the Inquisition, but I cannot do much else to help you. Your smuggler is locked up. Maybe there are others in his band that can help you. Be careful and discreet, and you will survive. Oh, thank you, my lady. You are a just woman. May the illuminated protect you. Thank you for having heard us and helped. You are truly full of kindness. Because I couldn't honestly you just have go. A kind heart, green blood. It'll be the end of you, but that doesn't bother me. I wouldn't have wanted those poor buggers to end up on a burning pyre. It would seem that I'm not the only one with a tender heart. What okay, was your son doing on a Nort ship? Why would they have taken him? It is what they do. Through pacts and contracts, they steal away young children from their mothers. Oh, what for fuck's about? sake. What I do you mean? I thought that a legate would know these things. But it is true that you are young and inexperienced. It seems that you have been protected from the turpitudes of our own nation and their terrible allies. Oh, this for fuck's sake. constant ransoming that they put us through. But I will not say another word. You will have no trouble verifying the details now that you know what to look for. Where might I find your son now? I cannot say, Excellency. You must understand why. Until the Norts have set sail, we live in fear they will take him back from us. This pact... It sounds like some fear-inducing story. The Norts wouldn't be the first to recruit through dubious means. Wait, you know about this?! First off... No, no. Kurt. Kurt. First off... You would speak of this shit. Words fucking help, you jackass. All right then. Wild fucking goose chase because apparently they're fucking. This was their fucking son. Well, that is very unpleasant news. Oh god. Sunday. We need to do all we can to bring the boy back to his ship. Since time immemorial, there's always been a certain. Price to pay for the services of the Norts. Children oh God. on their ships belong to them. It's the rule of the sea. But certain contracts are so important that they also require children to be offered in exchange. That's From fucked up, but time, hey. The congregation has passed such a court, and certain noble families had to give their children up. Okay, yeah. He's selling his own son for a few boat rides. For ugly, that is ugly. Lady Fontaine didn't seem to have any knowledge of that detail. That could be of use to us. Oh wow, that's that's straight fucked. That's straight fucking fucked. Lady de Sade, what are you doing here? I have come looking for your son. The Norts are worried about his disappearance. Um, those Norts took him from us, but now we've got him back. And he'll be staying with us. Would you be so kind as to hear what I have to say, Sir Fontaine? Please. Okay. So I'm going to go with the two options. Because I feel like the 50-50 shit might not work. I looked into the contract that binds you to the Nords. It was indeed you who ceded your son to them in exchange for help with your business with the bridge. It is... It is so. But that sort of contract is ignoble. I never would have signed it if I had known. You should have thought of that before. 
Breaking the contract could have regrettable consequences for the congregation. The prince will know how to negotiate with the Norse. If they take my son back, my wife will die of sadness. Her sadness would be all the more terrible if she learned of your role in the story. No! Do you dare tell her. I beg you. You are not leaving me with a choice. Very well. Take the key and take him away. Cursed be the day I delivered my son unto the noughts. All children leave the nest one day or another, sir. Farewell. <laughs> yes! Fuck yes, dude! Even though I just broke a family and I'm pretty sure this woman is gonna go fucking lose her mind. My isle. My new city. You'll need to arm yourself with patience. The voyage will be long. I've been told the trip lasts months. And they say the place is full of gigantic creatures. As big as buildings. That's right. I heard a rumor the Norths even brought one back in one of their ships. I doubt that. The Norths are strange, but they're not idiots. Yeah. Why do I feel like it's gonna be the just like the next scene? The beast is awoken! You are fu- Yeah, bullshit! Bridge building liars. The creature was supposed to be out for days. They'll pay for this. Whoa! What the hell manner of cargo are you transporting? Help! We need ropes! We must contain it! Help! Come now. Let's send them a hand. Whoa! Don't just stand there, you idiot, cowering like a fucking mess! Do something! Uh oh. Uh oh. No, no, no. Whoa. Kurt! Captain! Keep my cousin safe! Are you fucking kidding me? I'm fighting this? Whoa. Why is this fucking Dark Souls? Why is this fucking Dark Souls? Only without a goddamn stamina bar. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No! God damn it! Okay, you know what? Let me see if I can master it with a controller. Combat? I'll go with a fucking controller. What the hell manner of cargo are you transporting? Help! We need boots! We must contain it! Help! Why can't I skip this? Come on. Let's send them ahead. Oh! Are you kidding me? Huh! Heal up! Heal up! Fight! Oh god! My armor's my armor's fucking taking shit. Right under his arms, licking the fucking tree bark under his armpits. Gotcha! Eat my dick. Controller apparently is fucking good for this game. Relax, relax. Uh, well, Greenblood, how do you fare? Fine, fine. It is dead. Are you wounded? I'm well. Your lessons have proven effective. I've never seen a beast this size. It's quite extraordinary. It was true to- What a fight. You were illustrious. I'm not of the same mind. Ah! I have the feeling it was already weakened. I did nothing more than finish it off. 
Your humility remains a constant. But believe me, that battle was absolutely epic. That doesn't help! Look at what we fucking did! This creature was nothing more than a sound fucking creature completely lost! God damn it! <laughs> okay, so combat, I'm switching to a fucking controller. Like how most people switch to fucking controller while driving in GTA. I'll do that for Greedfall. Hells yeah, bitch. Okay. This fucking music. What the fuck? Whoa, whoa! Holy hell! <laughs> Welcome to Greedfall, folks! Don't take offense, yeah. but it's not pleasant for a captain to abandon his ship. Exactly. Case, here I am at your service for a while. You are kidding me! I got him as a teammate?! Okay, yeah, ending it there because, holy shit, managed to go ahead and handle that shit, handle the fucking, handle the fucking tree beast, and frankly enough, that was the most fun I've had in quite a while. Holy shit. So yeah, thank you all for watching. See you guys in the next one. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, fucking hit the bell. So that way you don't have to be up to date with all the content that comes around here. That's going to fact that I'm going to be trying to upload every single day. Not going to be easy when you also have a part-time job that pretty much decided to screw you in the ass. But hey, better, better than doing fuck all, follow me on social media. That way you can stay up to date as well. And I'll see you guys later.